Welcome back. The most exciting topic we will now dive into. He's wearing it. North side. You three are wearing it. Am I wearing it? Oh yeah, shoot. Well, I'm representing <laughs> Toronto. What team Toronto. is that, man? You didn't get the memo. Um, yeah. Let's talk about the Raptors. All right, thoughts about this season. Go ahead. Go there. Uh, I think the Raptors are doing amazing. You know, first in the East, they have one of the top players in Kawhi Leonard. Uh, Kyle Lowry doing a good job facilitating the team. Good, uh, I wouldn't say their bench is all right. Bench was better last year, I would say, because of Van Vliet, Pascal Siakam. But right now they're kind of injured. They lost JV, Lowry's in and out. Kawhi Leonard doesn't play back-to-back -back still. But they're still doing good. Uh, Any concerns, I guess, that what you would raise? Um, or it's good that what they're doing this right now? Or you're just like... To just keep them fresh. Well, playoffs. right now, I just think what they're doing right now is okay. As long as they're fresh for the playoffs, ready to take on whoever and win. And yeah, they, they as should be As long as good. Larry's ready for the playoffs. Yeah, he, should, he needs to be on, on his game during the playoffs. I think he missed, what, nine games or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he should be fresh. All-star break is coming up. So yeah, high expectations for the Raptors, but we'll see it when it comes to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Norman, yeah. thoughts? Uh, so far, so good. Like you said, number one in the East. Um, best player. We have the best player in the East, in my opinion. Um, yeah, We're still we'll, getting better. Yeah, still getting better. We also have Kyle Lowry. Wait. I don't think well. I don't think he is leading the league in assists anymore. Mm -hmm. Not right now. He no. was. He the was though, before the injury. Yeah. So I mean, that's also always a good note. Um, the bench, yeah, iffy about the bench here and there. I do miss Jakob Pertl though coming off the bench there. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not. To be. I'm not worried. I know in the end they're gonna come out first, number one, and uh, hopefully get that home court. Uh, yeah, that home court crucial throughout the whole playoffs. And mm -hmm. what, have you seen, what, what have you seen so far, though, as kind of the way they play their style of play? What has been their strength? Like, because if you watch the Warriors shooting, the passing, if you watch you know, the Houston Rockets, it's just James Harden yeah. shooting. <laughs> and if James you watch, Harden. like, you know, what, what, what is the style of the, uh, the Raptors? What's the culture that they have in this team right now? Like, what do you see when you look at the Raptors? Because you need to have an identity as a, as, a, as a championship team, yeah. right? If you are like you know, if you were Detroit Pistons back in the day with Chauncey, it was a defensive juggernaut team. You know, championships team like the, the Spurs, it was them. It was champ passing and then defense. So, what's Toronto's identity like if you look at them? Uh, well, I mean, they from compared to last year, they're not doing as much ISO ball because they don't have Demar Derozan, but. In a way, you can see Kawhi still yeah, doing ISO. Yeah, you can ISO. still see the ISO. Mm -hmm. but, um, but I would say their defense is definitely way better. When, they're, mm -hmm. when, they're, like, when they want to play defense, they shut down teams. I know there's a couple games this season where they shut down teams who maybe less than 10 points in a quarter, and then they came back and won. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say the defense is definitely there. Their offense is always going to be there, but they've had their struggles uh, with the three. But yeah, I would say their defense right now, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they can up their defense, they'll be good to go. Yeah. Especially now with Kyle Lowry back. You see when he got back, he already drew, like, what, four charges in his yeah. first game back? So you can tell right away, like, defense without him, it's, it kind of hurts hurts yeah. us. But yeah. with him, like, our defense really, like, yeah. turns up another level. Yeah, I, lo I love Lowry's scrappiness. Yeah. And, like, I swear, I laugh, back I laugh so all the time when he takes a charge. Because I so swear, much, he's he so takes quick. so many in charges. Opinion, and you can't, he's the yeah. most important he's player so on sneaky. the team, bro. Yeah. He's so most small important. that he just, like, whoop. And then all of a sudden, nobody realized, like, oh, crap, he's right there yeah. Yeah. in the charge, right? And it's good because when he when he comes back, it puts, uh, it puts Van Fleet and DeLon right in the right position in terms of coming off the bench. Because that's exactly. where Van Fleet shines. Yeah, and yeah. having, you know, uh, Van Fleet and DeLon as the off guard, it, as the ball handler off the bench, it's, it kind of helps them with the bench because a lot of their bench players needs the ball to kind of be set up to them, like mm -hmm. uh, OG or Greg Monroe or Valanciunas. Right. They work off of that screen and roll. And so it's nice to have them back, uh, Lowry back, because it puts the players in the natural position where, uh, where we've been strong at, which is our bench team. They're strong when we have the proper, you know, when we have them healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And Siakam now is on another level right now, man. Also, my Serge opinion, Ibaka. Did you guys see that coming, though? Like, no. He, well, he actually, you know what? I Ibaka. did. I watched his, like, workouts on YouTube when he would, like, play, like, UCLA runs yeah. with, yeah. like, the Raptors and, like, 
Harden Westbrook. He was killing it over there, man. Yeah. So I mean, when he came in the start of the season, I'm like, I'm not surprised. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about the next big topic, which is the matchup, the Spurs versus Raptors matchup. First, let's talk about the game that just happened, your yeah. thoughts about that, and then we'll move on to the upcoming game. Uh, DeMar wanted to take our heads off, man. Mm -hmm. he, <laughs> pretty much, he wanted to send them a note, send Raptors, like, you know, like, you this guys, is what you're losing. This is, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. you get. You know, it's like a revenge yeah. like, of a next girlfriend you know, coming back at you. <laughs> yeah. But Kawhi Leonard stopped the game with an Adam once. I'm like, oh, okay, all right, let's get it, you know? Yeah. And then after that, boom, right after, yeah. he wouldn't miss a shot. DeMar was going off. He got his first triple-double. Yeah. First triple-double. First triple-double. Triple against oh. the Raptors. It's the, the funny part is, like, I think out of anyone that was really during that game with the Raptors, and, like, Kawhi was the one that was more in control of anyone. Like, nobody made a shot. Like, it was him that was actually the one that was actually... Despite all the boos, yeah, despite yeah. all, like, the, mm. the pressure that was on him, he actually played well. I think yeah. it was just... He didn't have enough support that That's, game, yeah. and it was over by like first quarter. And That's Spurs were just game. hitting everything, man. Yeah. They were they would have missed like oh. Forbes, uh, Derek White. White. Yeah, oh my surprised. god! Like who are these yeah. guys? Came out of nowhere. Right? Exactly. Yeah, That's crazy. yeah. and we but missed JV that game. Yeah, Ibaka had no answer for Lamarcus, man. Yeah. It felt the same as the uh, the Dwayne Casey return. Yeah. yeah. Where it's like <laughs> two heartbreaks. Of we it. just we just like it felt good <laughs> that they won, you know, because we did them. We did, I don't think we did them right in terms of the. Um, uh, how it ended because Twinkies had a good season yeah. and DeMar played well for us and he was loyal to us and we kind of did him like that so it was a tough loss but then it felt right that yeah. they won so. yeah. Revenge is sweet yeah. but let's talk about the second the coming though we'll see yeah. them yeah. so what, what do you think we have to do? what are we expecting on that game well, when yeah. DeMar comes in? because like, I don't think anybody's going to boo him I don't think so either they yeah. shouldn't no one should ever so. boo him <laughs> no, there's no way they're going to boo him man. Yeah. Uh, we're we're gonna win that one for sure, I think. Yeah. Kawhi's gonna, go Kawhi gonna have Kawhi a triple double. Gonna go have a triple double. <laughs> Lowry's gonna have a great game because Lowry didn't play that first game, right? So That's true. Yeah. hopefully, um, I want to see that Kawhi and Demar like one on one kind of matchup, like because Kawhi, I think the Kawhi was guarding him at one like yeah. couple of times, but then I guess they switch and put Danny Green. I think on. Danny they put Danny Green on him that game. I want. Kawhi to kind of just answer back and then, you know what, this is my team now. Yeah. You can't come into the rap, like, you know, in the uh, Scotiabank Arena and give just, them all the smoke, bro. Yeah. It's definitely going to be a better game for the Raptors, I would say. I agree. Yeah. Hopefully they come up atop. Yeah. But did he say he was going to drop 50 points? I don't think that's going to happen. Definitely not on Kawhi. Yeah. yeah. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, he did say that. On Ibaka's TV show, YouTube show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey. Guys, thank you for coming in and talking with us, with us. Thanks for the Bugatti jerseys up in front. Yeah. Anything you'd like to say to any uh, people watching? Shout out, shout out to that ahead. nice camera, camera right, there. right there. Go Larry. You, Larry, you can go first. Shout out to uh, the Bugatti Boys squad. Uh, Everyone Where can just, they find you? you guys, yeah, what's, you know? what's, what's your, your IG handle, handle guys? Uh, IG handle is Legend Larry. Oh, he's a legend. Mm -hmm. At ins oh. Instagram with the three R's. Fortnite God. <laughs> Fortnite, Fortnite God. God. <laughs> Norman? Uh, MM Panola underscore. And yeah, shout out uh, to the Bugatti boys. We're gonna win one more ship. Uh -huh. and, and thank uh, you for having us. Thank you guys for having us, man. Thank you, thank you. Well, Mark, Mark, anything? Well, just follow us on Pinoy Crossover. Pinoy Crossover at Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. You can find us there. You're gonna have their videos there. and check out all the stories of these amazing people that we, you know, we come in on a show. They share stories about their experience playing basketball, or experience getting into, you know, this is just Jeff with the story about um, open gym with the players in the Raptors, or CJ with a story about playing professionally in Denmark. That's an amazing story. Mm -hmm. Or Dean about why he was blacklisted in the Philippines. So some great stories that we have. Absolutely. Hey, thank you guys for watching, and hey, stay balling.